the souls of the saints are rejoicing in heaven, the saints who follow the footsteps of Christ, and since for love of him they shed their blood, they now exalt with Christ forever. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us not call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, to you my, my brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, strength of all the saints, who through the cross were pleased to call the martyrs, Saints Pedro, Bautista, Paul, Miki, and companions to life. Grant, we pray, that by their intercession, we may hold with courage even unto death to the faith that we profess through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of the whole community of Israel and stretching forth his hands toward heaven, he said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven, above or on earth below. You keep your covenant of mercy with your servants who are faithful to you with their whole heart. Can it indeed be that God dwells on earth? If the heavens and the highest heavens cannot contain you, how much less this temple which I have built? Look kindly on the prayer and petition of your servant, O Lord my God and listen to the cry of supplication which I, your servant, utter before you this day. May your eyes watch night and day over this temple, the place where you have decreed you shall be honored. May you heed the prayer which I, your servant, offer in this place. Listen to the petitions of your servant and of your people, Israel, which they offer in this place. Listen from your heavenly dwelling and grant pardon. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Even the sparrow might finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. 
Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. O God, behold our shield, and look upon the face of your anointed. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. I had rather one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Incline my heart, O God, to your decrees and favor me with your law. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kittles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites? As it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, How well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother. And whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, if someone says to father or mother, any support you might have had from me is korban, meaning dedicated to God, you allow him to do nothing more for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on, and you do many such things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, good morning to all of you. Medyo nagakiangkiang ako kay... A week ago, nakatipalo ako. Sobra mo sobra ako nga tulog sa punta. Huwag ko di para nga may isa pagali ka gamay. Gamay naman lang nga... Hindi, nakatipalo. Sa kaluwisan Diyos, wala man sa mga dislocate, wala man sa fracture, no? It's just so happened nga na siguro yung veins siguro na, or muscle na overstretch. That's why the medyo sakit siya sa nagliligad. So buong medyo duty na lang katama, no? Sa kaluwisan sa ginoo. Kasi I have to, last time, I was not able to say mass here, last Tuesday, precisely because of that reason. And until now, just a little limp pa. Hopefully by next week uh, it will be fine uh, by God's grace. So let us. Uh, I am actually uh, torn between two things: to reflect on the gospel or to share a personal note. Siguro I'll just share na lang. In a way, I have already expounded on this a particular gospel. Uh, last year, no? So, I just like to share some anecdote lang, which I find until now very significant. You know, when I was growing up, there are people in this world, no, in life, that uh, I consider very fortunate, no? Ang mga kwangin sila, para sa ako, no, sila gini mga tao, ang mga very fortunate, that God has blessed so much. 
I have, I, I knew someone at a young age. No? Uh, they went to, uh, they went abroad. Tisang gamay pa, kung nagamay pa man siya, pero pa-abroad sila ya. Yeah. And I told myself, mahi pa na sila yan, no? Kasi binas man sa ila yaman. Nga, ang may mga tao yung, uh, they are so blessed by God. Nga, sa, well, 1980s yan. Budlay pa magpa-abroad. So, muna kapos lang. Pero nagpa-abroad sila. And that really had a impact on my memory. No? Wala labos sa nangadaan. Kuhan pa siya. No? Uh, kung tanawin mo ba na ito, blessed with everything. She's intelligent. She has good looks. No? That's why, bisa magdako, asa nga, nag, asa nga sa buong edad, no? until now, whenever I pass a certain place where they live, I don't want to give too much details, but every time I pass the place where they lived, may aragin na yung nostalgia sa ako na yun niya. A little tinge of jealousy or envy, shall we say. And a little prayer to God asking Him nga, why? Why are some people so blessed? Nga ako ya hindi. Even until nagtigulang ako, asa subo nga? Basta asa tigulang ako na abe. Until now. Every time I pass a certain place. Do imagine it was elementary? Until my age now. The memory of that person is really itch in my mind. Then one day, after, I don't want to give too much details, uh, I came to know of her flight as a person. When she was abroad, uh, when growing up, nagkaroon siya pala ng kwan, bipolar. And then, she was already in a facility for the past 15 years. Imagine, it really uh, made me sad. At the same time, it, it jolted me to reality. Nga ano? Ay, perceptions lang gali. Sometimes, from the outside, looking at other persons, mas ligit ako, they're so blessed. Ito naman ba lang ako nga kilala? Na for the longest time, siguro for 40 years, or maybe uh, 40 years, kiti, gamay pa ko, kiala ko na siya. For 40 years, more or less, ang image ko sa Yaya, she is one of the most blessed person in the world. How fortunate she is. Only to know ganun, of the sad flight that she had. Nagkaroon siya ng bipolar uh, syndrome. Ano ba tawag dyan? Bipolar syndrome ba yan? Bi naging bipolar siya. And then she was confined in a facility for 15 years already. Te, ano leksyon nga na it really jolted me to reality. Sometimes, looking out from the outside, we think that other people are so blessed by God and that parang nadihado kita sa Diyos. No? Lord, ano ka dihado mo sa amun man. Sila tumayo man to, nga kami ay hindi. Ay, hindi gali ah. Ang Diyos kisa sa iya kaalam, nga hindi nato maintindihan. Imagine mo, it, take, it took me 40 years to change that attitude, that uh, mindset. Nga she was more blessed. Imagine 40 years. Nga mo ng mind ko iya. Kada labay ko yun sa nangalugar, ang buwan ng mind kakasulong sa ulo ko mo. Lord, na ah, blessed man siya iya man. Nakadipinas man siya iya. Ako nakadimalas ako. Ang dawila ikaw yung nabless ang ambusan na. How I wish I was also, you know, born in a family that uh, live abroad or something like that. No? Pero hindi magigali ah. Tiga mo na ang barko sa kagalingan ko na, no? Sometimes, ang ginoo, in His wisdom, makes us blessed also. Sometimes in ways that we do not know. Kisa hindi talang ma-appreciate kayo. You know, God also works in ways nga He doesn't really 
allow us to know what he was doing or what he is doing in the background. Of the many times, siguro nga, uh, an accident would have been would have been would have been prevented. I mean, it was prevented. We'll never know how many times evil men and women who are malicious towards us were thwarted from their plans. No. God works in mysterious ways. And whatever we have is what we deserve sometimes. No? But most of the time, more than what we deserve. And in the wisdom of God, no? we will always rely in the wisdom of God. Sa mga tigulang pa maghambal, kinabalansi, balansi man asang Diyos. Kung tanawon mo may maayo, gitanan, hindi na. May ara man na ang Diyos kabalo magbalanse sa grasya nga ginahatag niya sa aton. And so I hope no. Uh, of course I departed from the gospel but I hope that a little anecdote can come to make us more appreciative of how God is working in us and in our lives. Sometimes in ways that we appreciate Sometimes in ways that we don't appreciate. But bottom line, it is all God's loving grace and it is all for the good of us. Ang Diyos, kabalans, kabalogid, magbalanse, sang grasya, nga ginahatag niya sa atong tanan. Amen. Please all stand. Let us now pray. Lord, give us a loving heart like yours. Lord, give us a loving heart like yours. May church leaders reject spiritual worldliness, which hides behind the appearance of piety and even love for the church and does not go forth and seek out the needy and the lost. We pray. Lord, give us a loving heart like yours. May we not allow ourselves to be robbed of the power of the gospel that breaks through human traditions and long-held concepts to free us from self-centeredness in order to awaken the world, we pray. Lord, give us a loving heart like yours. May the people of God be open to new ideas and new programs for evangelization and not to be held back simply because things have always been done this or that way. We pray. Lord, give us a loving heart like yours. May our piety move from prayer into action, bearing the fruits of good works, we pray. Lord, give us a loving heart like yours. May we honor our father and mother, helping them especially in their old age. We pray. Lord, give us a loving heart like yours. We pray all this to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name. 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs. Grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith, that their endurance should grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, as we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gives you pray, descending on your spirit upon them, let it do fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, who may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Make us grow in charity together with Francis, our Pope, Patricio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Sebastian, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, St. Pedro Calungsod, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray in the words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. It is you who stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. Let us pray. O oh God, we in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross. Gracefully grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.